Taipei, Taiwan. Some of you may connect through there on your way to Manila. Actually, a really quick flight from Taipei. Just so you know about the forms, I had to fill out a QR code on e-travel website for Philippines. So you need the QR code. You also need a departure ticket, an onward flight. One of the ways you can get one of those without having to pay too much if you don't know the exact date is I booked mine to Taipei for $25 because I don't know exactly when I'm going to leave, but I have an onward ticket for 30 days from now. You could also book one to Ho Chi Minh City or Hanoi or Hong Kong, very cheap, on Philippines, Air Asia. That's just one idea that you could do. But yeah, so you have the QR code, onward flight, proof of accommodation, and then you have to fill out a customs form. And those are all things that are required. But here we are, immigration. Quick walk. What uh, terminal is this? Terminal 1. Terminal 1, okay, thank you. Okay, so immigration was very easy. They didn't even ask me for my QR code yet. Uh, and I still have to process customs, but we're just waiting on the baggage. I could have backpacked it, but I checked in one luggage. But yeah, I was one of the first to get off the plane. So that helps. But yeah, so far they haven't even asked me for my QR code. When I boarded in Taipei, they just asked me for it, but they didn't verify. Well, they kind of verified. I voluntold that I had it, but she didn't really pressure me to offer it. I just offered it anyway, showing her. So I don't know about... I would definitely fill out the e, e-travel, but I've yet to be asked for that. And definitely no proof of vaccination or anything like that. It is August 7th, 2023. Uh, all that is up, is done with. 
because I know some of you are going to ask. But let's see, I'm just waiting on my baggage claim now. We'll pick up once we get it. Okay, so that was pretty fast. We've maybe 25 minutes, 20 minutes. Not too long. Average. Uh huh. Okay. Now it's on to customs. Let's see here. Gonna need an ATM or the money changer at least. Let's see here. Alright, I'll pick up after customs. Okay, so it looks like I went through customs and no one took my form. So I didn't show a barcode and I didn't even show the customs form. But please be aware that that might not always be the case. But I'm gonna go to foreign exchange here. I'll keep tracking this progress here. So far arriving in Manila on a Monday at 9.30 a.m. is great. I mean, it's smooth sailing. Can't really complain. Now it's on to the taxi. So far, no one has asked me for any forms. Hello, sir. Uh, yes, Grand Hyatt, BGC. Guanajuato, Global City. Oh, okay. Hello. How are you? Yes, I would like to go to the Grand Hyatt at BGC. Okay. Your name, please? Uh, Jeff. How many luggages are there? Just these right here that I have with me. Okay. The first taxi. Okay, how much is it? It's metered. Oh, it's metered? Yeah. Okay. Sir, BGC. Thank you. Thank you, sir. It's a meter. It's a toll gate. They call it OFP. Okay, so I'm now at my hotel room. I'll just show you. This here is the Grand Hyatt. And then I'll give you a final review of the arrival process from the way that it went for me, at least. But yeah, it's actually evening time, and I'm finally getting around to this. So, as it turns out, I did fill out my E. Whoa, is that lightning? Yeah, that was lightning. Oh, wow. Craziness. Wow, that's wild. I'm way high up here, too. If you could see the Makati down there, I'm on the 49th floor. Uh, yeah, so I filled out the forms, but they never asked me for any of it. They didn't ask me for anything other than my passport, even customs, you know? So um, I found that to be useful information to share with you. Here it is, August, 2023. I asked the taxi driver why that would be the case. And he said that they've just kind of laxed the process. The only time I did get asked for anything was when I checked in to the flight in Taipei. So you will be probably asked for that at the check-in counter when you get to uh, the airline. Although the airline that I flew on, I just volunteered the information, but they didn't really push me for it. Like I just told them that my flight leaves. Oh my gosh. Wow. Crazy, man. Crazy. Sorry, but that is crazy being on the 49th floor and just seeing that ruckus. Either way, smooth sailing, 9.30 arrival, didn't go with any, it didn't have any hiccups arriving into Ninoy and Kino. The drive to get here to BGC is a pain in the butt though. I will say that. Uh, it's slow stop and go, especially on a weekday. Um, I would say maybe late evening is the best time or really super early morning, but anytime from like 7 a.m. until probably 10 p.m. you're gonna expect stop and go traffic 
and Manila getting the BGC. If you guys enjoyed this one, smash the likes and watch some more of our other travel videos for airport arrivals. I'll put Taipei and Hong Kong at the end. Yeah, so that's a Hong Kong arrival video as well as a Taipei arrival video. See you guys on the next one.